And the last thing we're going to talk about this week is TFCon. Uh, yep. Just a warning to all our listeners, you're going to have a little bit of a dark period yet again, a.k.a. meaning that probably if you're hearing our voices right now, we're leaving on a jet plane <laughs> and don't know when we're going to be back again. Actually, we do know it's probably going to be Monday. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but the point is, is Monday that, in the future. Yeah. So we're going to be at TFCon. Um, as always, we're staff, so we're going to be doing our thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so don't be scared to come up to us and say that you love the show and let us know uh, what you think, how we could improve it, how we could make it better. Um, let us know that we're just doing a good job at all, if, at all, if anything. Yeah, true. Um, but so as it stands right now, TFCon is upon us, and we still have so much more guests. Uh, the last time we talked about TFCon on the podcast, I believe another eight guests were, were added to yeah. the list. <laughs> Um, I've almost lost track at this point. I know uh, Clive Ravel was announced, who's the voice of Kickback. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clive, keep in mind, is 93 years old. Oh, wow. So if you're at TFCon, get his autograph. I don't want to say why, but get his autograph. So Clive, um, he's done other stuff throughout uh, history when it comes to um, – to voice acting is prob- probably one of his best known roles outside of doing kickback is he was the voice of Emperor Palpatine from the original eighties version of Empire Strikes Back. Now oh, for wow. people don't now unfortunately a lot of listeners and I mean we're kinda guilty of it too, some of the Star Wars movies have been retooled quite a bit throughout the years by George Lucas. Yeah. Uh the original run of Empire Strikes Back actually had a very different uh Emperor Palpatine. Uh, and there was like a scene where it's like it's a hologram of Emperor Palpatine talking to Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. They obviously they changed it to I forget what the name of the actor is that plays him now. But so in that original version, in that original version, it was Clive that actually was ah, him. Okay. So so we have a, a very important person in Star Wars history on top of that. So he's he's a part of that. Uh, let's r- scroll down. Oh, da- oh, see here's another good one. So we have Danny Mann. Uh, Danny Mann, who's, again, from a Transformer standpoint, okay, Cloud Raker, Freeway, Lightspeed, Spoil Sport, you know, he's, he's some of those things. But, I mean, Danny Mann did a lot of important stuff through the history of just voice acting in general and everything else. Um, number one, he was Hector in Heathcliff. Oh, no way. A, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the he's the Beagle Boys from DuckTales. No, you know? the Beagle Bugle? Bugle? Uh, I think it. I think it's Beagle Boys. I thought Beagle it was Boys, Bugle. Right? Bugle. Bu- like like Bugle. the trumpet. Oh, maybe. maybe I could maybe be wrong. Bugle. I could be wrong too. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but so you like again? It's it's one of those guys that um, if you look at his his whole list of stuff that he's been voice acting forever, forever. Like again, like a lot of cartoons that I liked as a kid that were like you know uh, Little Nemo in Slumberland. He was Icarus in it, so it's like oh man, or, or oh, Rover no Danger Rover Dangerfield. Uh, which was the uh, the movie by Rodney Dangerfield. It was an animated movie where he was a dog. A lot of people haven't seen that yeah, one. Yeah, you're a right, great Beagle Boys. Mo- great, great, mov- great movie. Try to go see that one. It's an underrated animated movie by Rodney Dangerfield. Rover Dangerfield. He was the wolves in it. Like, he did a lot of stuff. He was in Fern Gully. He was Ash. Oh, no uh, way. Lit- Holy littlest to- Yeah, well, that's why. Like, he, he did a lot of stuff um, that people just, like, again, you, you don't know it until you look at the list and you go, oh, man, I watched that movie as a kid. I remember that voice. Mm. Um, also, Darren Norris, uh, this one, this, whoever's going to be in charge of his table is probably going to have the most busiest this weekend. I don't know. Darren Norris, the voice of Knockout from Transformers Prime, mm-hmm. he's going to be there. So, I mean, that's all I need to say. He's, he's Knockout, so he's <laughs> going to be very popular that weekend. We also announced um, some outside of Generation 1 voice actors. So David Kay is going to be there. Uh, David Sobolov. So David Kay, I mean, if we even need to say it at this point, Beast Wars, Megatron, Animated Optimus Prime, blah, 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 you know. Uh, David Sobolov, for people who aren't aware who he is, Beast Wars, uh, Depth, Depth Charge. So that's a really big mm-hmm. one. He was also the voice of Blitzwing in the Bumblebee movie, so he recently did some recent stuff. He was Shockwave in Transformers Prime. And I mean... David Soboloff has done again. Also, he's one of those guys that you pull up his IMDb and stuff, and it's just a whole bunch of like crazy stuff. I know that a lot of the obscure stuff that I like from animation from the '90s, he was uh, 
he was responsible for. So remember the Hurricanes? Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. So, Champions yeah. are here to stay. Yeah. A the soccer, Hurricanes. Uh, yeah. So he was Phantom Storm in the Hurricanes. Storm coming to you today. <laughs> um, there was a RoboCop cartoon in the 90s, but not the first one by Marvel. The second one called Alpha Commandos. He was RoboCop oh, in that. Okay. Um, in Young oh, Justice, he's also in. Uh, so if if you want more recent stuff from him, he was he's in the Flash and he plays Gorilla Grodd. Yeah, like that's just it. So he does a lot of cool stuff too. It's there's a lot of these guys. Ooh, he was Lobo what in I, Young Justice. Yeah, in Young Justice, he was Lobo. It's what I would suggest um, if, for a lot of people is when you're going to be going to TFCon, pull up this list on TFCon.com. And then individually look at all these voice actors. A lot of these guys are seasoned dudes that have been in the game for 30 plus years. And you're going to find something that's outside of Transformers. Yeah. That was important to your childhood. That's going to make you go, oh, man, I want to see him for that. You know, like, I, I, especially like, I mean, I'm, I just don't I don't want to jump through all the voice actors. There's still so many it's that thick. we haven't it's talked a, about. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a thick list. It's a huge list. It really is. Like, it's crazy. But like we just recently also announced some of the writers. Yeah. So we have, like, bu- like Bug- Buzz Dixon was just announced recently, Marty Eisenberg, Ron Freeman, um, you know, uh, Donald Glutt, Flint Dilly, Dave- David Wise, Br- uh, Bryce Mollick, um, you know, Bob Skur, all these guys that they've done so much in Transformers, but then when you dump into their database of other stuff, it's like every 90s cartoon ever made has been written by all these people I've just listed. Mm. So it's it's going to be a crazy weekend. I can't stress it enough. Like I am very much looking forward to it. It's it's easily going to be, without a doubt, I've been going to BotCon for years, and I've never seen such a spread of voice actors and guests ever in my life. And that's not even counting artists. You know what I mean? Like, like this is just, just on the, on the animation side of things, mm. the amount of, of creative individuals from the animation side of thing that's showing up this weekend is unprecedented at all. Like, it's just, I've never seen anything like that to the point that like, me and Jaws D were talking about it off the air. It's mm-hmm. like, man, we got a plan. <laughs> what we're gonna like? Get yeah, I, I have like it... a little notebook, and I'm like, all right, I've got uh, some, uh, I've got some, uh, what is it called, Duckman stuff, and I got, yeah, <laughs> there you go. I've got some uh, Greg Berger. I got I got some uh, Garfield and Friends stuff. You know, I got to yeah. get that signed. Oh, oh, I have my uh, CD of the uh, the jet uh, of um, what was it called again? Of Transformers the movie soundtrack that I wanted to get everyone to sign. That was like one of the first things. I had of like, ooh, look, I could get everybody to sign this thing. It's, you know? it's, you know what? And again, I said it in the past. Like, if anyone wants to, definitely go into the archive, look under the TF, uh, the TFCon playlist. We talked about some of the past voice actors. So many of these voice actors, like, lead to you having like whole sets of other TV shows. Yeah. Like, if you're a Voltron fan, if you're a He-Man fan, if you're a GI Joe fan, if you're a Gem fan, we're like covering everything here. Like it's it's just bananas what we got going on, uh, and now again with David K showing up and David Soboloff, um, you know now we're getting a huge Beast Wars connection going on, and again because of Bob Skirby in there, you get some Beast Machines on top of that too. So there's just there's so much here, I can't wait to see everyone this weekend. Um, Wendell is probably going to be doing voice acting. We don't really again because of the huge list of voice actors, we're yeah. not 100 percent sure where everyone's going to be plugged in yet. I can say this, um, Greg Berger will be available on Friday only, and he will be available on Friday only, and he will be, I want to say he's going to be there between 2 and 7, so if you want to get Greg Berger's autograph, be sure to be there on Friday, not just Saturday and Sunday. Um, otherwise everyone else, it's going to be kind of back and forth all over the place. Again, there is so many actors. There's so much that it's going to be, it's going to be crazy to just kind of piece together everything and just to find it. Even me, who's part of the show and me going like, Oh my God, this is going to be, (laughs) this is going to be nuts. nuts. This is going to be nuts just to get everybody. I almost want to, part of me wants to just kind of have like a giant lithograph with everyone on it. (laughs) Like would just would just be crazy, but I don't know. It's just it's it's nuts, and and there's a lot of cool artists too. They're going to be there. I know that Joshua Perez's brother Gabe is going to be there. Yeah, and 
And he is, by the way, Gabe, for people that don't know, Perez is an amazing artist. Gabe is also an amazing artist. And he was the one, I, I, I think it went viral at one point. There was the Golden Girls as uh, Sailor Moon. Yeah, as Sailor Scouts, yeah. Yeah, so like he was the one responsible for that. So he mm-hmm. recently, uh, he, he did a print of Alana from uh, the Sea Spray episode uh, in both her forms, in her human form and her Cybertronian form, and it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing. So definitely go, go buy Perez's table, pick up some art from Perez, but also his brother Gabe, who's his twin brother, by the way, so that's going to throw you off a little Double bit. Double trouble. Uh, yeah. Pick up some stuff from him, too, because both of them, oh, my God, it's this is going to be a great weekend. I'm really excited. I love going to the West Coast, and it's going to be so cool to see all you guys. It's going to be my first time in the West Coast. There you go. So welcome, Wendell, with some warm weather. <laughs>